no fucking remember My heart is cold in December Open my heart to remember Tell me to leave her alone Got enough fucking remember Got enough fucking remember I'm drinking honey right now Hope I don't crush all the mouth If you see me out of town Hope I'm all in now Lost my mind to this cup It's in purple now For the store They run out of spread oh wow I don't feel bad when I'm high I can't touch the sky If I die let I night Know that I was high Cried so many nights But said I was fine For my demons I can fight them all I'm on a high I can play this song back I'ma cry oh why Oh I'ma cry oh why December, over my heart can remember. Tell me to leave her alone. Got enough, I can remember. Got enough, I can remember. My heart is cold. December, over my heart can remember. Tell me to leave her alone. Got enough, I can remember. Got enough, I can remember.
It's cold like December. I broke my heart, can't remember. Tell me to leave her alone. Got enough, I can remember. Got enough, I can remember. What's up, everybody? We back with another Soul Dog Live, another Soul Dog Podcast on this Saturday, man. Y'all smash that like button. Sub up to the channel if you haven't done so already. Of course, y'all know my name is Jeremy Jones, and I make content about sneakers, occasional try-on hauls, and y'all know we got Music Monday, so I will be back live again on Monday with Music Monday, but today is sold out, and we're talking sneakers, man, and we're talking those Travises. Normally, I would introduce Dunks right now, but uh, not sure if he has something going on today or not. But he has the link, so if he joins, I will add him up in there. But other than that, we're going to see who got in the building, man. Y'all smash the like button, sub up. Also, the sold out Discord link is pinned at the top of the comments, right? Um, make sure y'all sign up for that sold out Discord. It's free to sign up. So if y'all haven't signed up for that, it is pinned at the top of the chat. So let me check out some of these comments real quick, man. And basically what I want to talk tonight about, and this is going to be another little chill stream, man. Sneakers, low-key, this was probably the last... It's been a while since we had some crazy hype, in my opinion, right? Okay, and you know, I'm not surprised, but I kind of was surprised that we got that random, and I guess you can say shock drop, but to be honest, safe to say the whole sneaker community found out around the same time, and we were on it, you know what I mean? And But I wake up in the morning, and you know, the Travis Air Force Ones are still available. Now... People are having mixed emotions from what I've seen all over the chat and stuff like that. And I get it. At the end of the day, you do buy what you like. But with this shoe not having as much hype, and especially, it sounds kind of weird saying that because this is a Travis Scott sneaker. Um, with the exceptions of a few, and that's why I want to do like a complete history guide on his collaborations and sneakers as well. Um, I do got an article up from Nice Kicks that I want to kind of go over. I think they're going to break that down tonight as well. But um, long story short, right? I am very curious, like, now that this is kind of, like, still sitting. In fact, you know what? I've got to pull up. I'm going to see if I, they're even still available on his website right now. Because think about it, these dropped at what? I want to say it was midnight last night when these joints actually dropped. Eastern time, right? Eastern time. That's what I'm on. I'm going to hit the chat in just a second. Let me go to Travis Scott website real quick. Um, I'm just very curious if they're still available to buy on there. So, no, it looks like they're finally gone. They're finally sold out. But they were there for a minute, and I guess this merch is still available because it's, I believe this stuff is pre-order, right? Okay, so pretty much, I will say this though, for any and anybody who wanted the Air Force One Travis Scott's Utopias, that's the official name of him, because he already done some Air Force Ones before, let's keep that in mind. He's done like a cell colorway, he did that Cactus Jack, like kind of unique colorway, which I'm going to show that in a second as well, because, um... 
for we, I, we, I tend to forget about this one, but then they got, I had the Cell Travis Scott joint, but I would love to have the actual white one. Now, I just want to also compare, and I hate to do this, but I also got to compare the Air Force Ones, the other three that he did. Um, now, with the exception of that last one, the Cactus Jack one, that right there, yeah, only select people going to want that joint. But the all but the white joint with the silver check where you can like you could just tell he put more creativity even in the Cactus Jack Air Force ones you can tell he put way more creativity in that one versus now you know this one to be honest it looked like he just let one of his kids write Utopia on the heel of the shoe you know what I mean and we paid it some attention because it's a Travis you know what I mean just keep it a hundred but um let me hit the chat real quick and then we'll see who all we got up in the building. Uh, I think Silky Johnson that comment says, I don't think there are bricks. Buy what you like. That's a fact. I agree. Um, let's see. Kwame says, yo, what up, Kwame? What up? What up? What up? Someone here says they'll probably sit around 300. I'm going to pull up what they're going for right now. And I'm assuming that eventually they're going to, um, eventually they will probably, once they, everybody start getting their pairs, wherever that price is right now, I have a feeling it's going to go down, but it may, um, could be like, uh, it definitely could basically be that shoe where it it may go back up over time, but I really don't see it's a plain Air Force Ones. To be honest, you can't help but compare them also to the Drake uh, Lover, Certified Lover Boy. That's what I think of when I see these joints as well, man. So that's one of the things that I like to say that I'm thinking about on that, like when I see that shoe. And um, one thing I like with it being available, because I know people are complaining that it's, it was a little too available is what it seems like I was getting people reactions from it, right? Um, let me see who else we got in the chat. Someone here says they'll probably sit around 300. Uh, Bernice Latrice says, right at Silky Johnson's, I bought a pair because I need a pair of Air Force Ones. I mean, as, hey, by all means, buy what you like. I respect that. Um, I'm just saying it's no different than, like, we've seen this a time again, too. You can think of the Supreme Air Force Ones, you know? They don't have that necessarily crazy hype on them, too. And then people get them, I feel like, when they're in the market for a new pair of Air Force Ones and just want something slightly different. And that's okay. That's all good and dandy. But I think with Travis sneakers, usually when his name is on a sneaker, man, it's usually, like, takes off like a rocket. And it did, but at the same time, I guess people want, in my opinion, people kind of like the shoe when his shoes is the limit availability. And I think we all fall into it to a certain extent. And, you know, the nice word, I guess, or the not so nice word nowadays is what they call them hype beasts. We all kind of got a little inner hype beast in us a little bit. Um, I see we got many, many with the kicks and the building says, Yerp. Um, let's see. Silky Johnson says, it's a collector's piece. That's all. Sorry. You could not flip it for a quick buck. Um, you bum. Yeah, you're probably talking about the resellers, right? Um, those are the people that are complaining most likely, right? Those are the ones that are probably complaining. So in all honesty, um, I don't see why, like, looks like we got a new subscriber in the building. Raven91 just subscribed. Appreciate you for subscribing. Y'all smash that like button as y'all come in and out of this joint. But yeah, it, it can be considered a collector's piece and or if... You're like Dunks, right? Who's not on the live right now, but um, Dunks is a major Travis Scott fan, which he did get a pair of the Air Force Ones, right? And uh, I'm not surprised, but I was kind of thinking that he would think what I was thinking. Like, man, they sometimes he went, sometimes they just take things a little too simple. You know what I mean? They keep it a little too simple, in my opinion. Um, Kwame says, I haven't even looked at resale, but I doubt these. Get up to the Travis Jordan prices. Hope people cop that wanted them. Most definitely agreed. Uh, Men with the Kick says, you're talking about yourself, B. Um, what's going on? Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, matter of fact, let's look at the prices right now on the resale market. And again, you got to take this with a grain of salt. I'm about to share my screen here. Boom. But these are it right here. Loaded up on StockX, everybody's new place to hate for buying sneakers now, but we still use it as a guide. And I'll say even using StockX as a guide, right? So last sold 280, but averaging 255 right now. So this is my thing. And price on these were $150. But I think when people get them in hand, they're going to drop a little bit more. You know what I mean? And right now, this is not a bad resale price unless you got like a super small foot, you know? 
And yeah, I think yeah, even the Bigfoot gang on this joint, like thirteen, they got two fifty five. So only ones that's really up there, you got the smaller sizes who probably want them for their kids or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, but <laughs> yeah, my thing is this: if we look at this shoe, you know what? This I want to get it like this is it too. I was gonna say like, I honestly, I was gonna say, man, we should I should pull up multiple angles of the shoe, but really. This is all that's coming with the shoe. It looks like they took a Sharpie and wrote Utopia on it. And uh, honestly, it's not really that. I don't know. To me, to keep it 100, it can borderline come off like like kind of um, insulting a little bit too, man. Because all honesty, it's something you can most likely do yourself. You know what I mean? That's just my thing on it. Um, with that Sharpie mark. And I see the Cactus Jack logo on the back of it. Now, that's a... He, all, honestly, if they were going to keep it that simple, I would have just liked them to just put the Cactus Jack writing on the back heel and then flip the Nike check uh, sign upside down and call it a day if y'all going to do that. You know what I mean? That Utopia, that handwriting Sharpie joint, borderline messes it up for me. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see... Kwame says, if these drop again on sneakers, that price going way down. Oh, most definitely. Um, I don't think they're going to drop on sneakers. I don't know. I don't know. But my two cents, and this doesn't mean anything either, but I'm going to say it on the website whenever we had it up there, um, which they're not up there anymore. But, yeah, whenever we had the joint, whenever I saw it on the website, it said exclusively here. So I'm, I thought it's just like an exclusive drop. And that like, once he sell, they're done, you know, they don't think they're going to do them on sneakers. But if we go off of the amount of restocks that we've been getting, like over the past months, then yeah, they can easily, especially air force ones, because they restock air force ones all the time. Not saying this is like, this one is special, but I mean, it's not like super special. I mean, like, I'll, honestly, I'd rather say the Tiffany Air Force Ones, they put more effort into this. That's my thing with this. It don't look like they put no effort into it. And the only reason you can say the Certified Lover Boy kind of put semi-effort into it when he wrote sub, 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 when he wrote Certified Lover Boy on there and then he put the hearts, like, logos on the bottom of the shooter grip. Somewhat, you know, some thought into it. And then you can get the, if you got the one from his website, it came with the beads where you could spell out your writing on there. Um, dope. But the only reason that kind of kept me away from that shoe is I think like, honestly, not knocking the fellas who got it, but I'm like, man, I was like, let the ladies have that. Cause that's something that they can get away. Even the kiddos, I would say like the kiddos would go for it too. But this is what they are right now. But a lot of people, if you just scroll down on Twitter, man, and I may pull up some stuff and read it a little bit later from what people are saying, but they're basically complaining that, hey, these was, you know, these are bricks because pretty much anybody can obtain them. So I don't know if it's just the younger generation or not. Um, it's just that I guess the younger generation that's in the game now, all they ever seen is kind of, they came in where stuff was kind of hype, you know? We came in where, like, it was cool just to a certain market. Now, it's kind of one of those, it depends on if it blows up on TikTok or not, too, man. So, a lot of different factors to go in into that joint, man. Um, Y'all smash the like button. Also, real quick, off mode, I know that uh, Earl Spence is supposed to be fighting uh, Terrence Crawford tonight, man. So, definitely... I don't know if I'm going to pay for the fight, but I'm definitely going to wait up and see. Because they're going to... They're going to report who won, man. So, um, and you can obviously, you're going to catch the highlights. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm debating. I'm debating. I'm debating. I haven't decided. Y'all, what y'all got on the fight? Uh, I did have that question going. And he sold out Discord as well. I did pop some questions up, too. I'm going to pull that up, too, like on the channel. I had a couple polls running. I do want to check and see how those done. Because I put those up, and I haven't had a chance to kind of, like, look at them real quick. So, give me, like, two seconds, and then I'm going to check them out. Let me pull them up on the screen. Let's see. Let's see. So I definitely want to check that out real, real quick. Let's see. Let me hit the main joint and go to the community tab right here. So, yeah, I did pop these up because let me share my screen real quick. Boom, right here. This is the, I did do catch the W on the air, Jordan Palominos. I ran this poll, like what? This was roughly nine hours ago, so that had to be around like 10 some this morning, 10-ish. Um, it says... Yes, got 
17% for no, and I'm sleep 69%. So I feel like a lot of people skip these threes. But again, if you like them, go for them, right? Okay. And then, of course, I ran this poll before that one about the Travis Scott. And this is also where I got my kind of like thoughts on the joint. It says, did you catch a W on the Travis Scott? Like, you know, Cactus Jack joints, the Utopias. So a lot of people, I think, skipped on them too. You know what I mean? Granted, some people did go for them. I know a lot of people said, like, why not? So let me see what the comments got on this joint. Um, Let's see. I bet they cost over 500. Uh, no, I went for them just to be trying, but kept getting error messages. So I gave up after the third time. And then this person said they're overpriced. I mean, it's 150. I mean, Air Force is already going over 100 now when they used to be 90. I remember when I used to be 75. I remember when I used to be 75. And then I remember when I used to actually be. Um, Yeah, I remember when they actually used to be 75. And I think that's the time where I came up on the joints when they were 75. Let me touch the chat real, real quick. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Silky Johnson says, Grammy with the kicks. Uh, Yerk. Uh, uh, Cedric said, Cedric Vapor says, Yerk. What up, Cedric? Man with the kicks says, LOL, dry, dry humor, I guess. Silky Johnson says, you muted me for nothing. Uh, sorry, I hurt your feelings. <laughs> man with the kicks. It was by, it was by accident, man. It was by accident. I know Manny sometimes moves around with the phone in his pocket or something so he could easily, like, hit the button. I, I knew it was by accident. That's why when I read it, like, I could still read it. So um, I saw it, and I was like, I still read it anyway. You're good, man. You good? Chill, chill, man. We chilling tonight, man. We chilling. I ain't having all that, man. Y'all know I don't want to get worked up. We chilling. And uh, hopefully, if I don't watch the fight, I'm definitely going to be watching the highlights. You dig? So definitely going to be chilling and, you know, definitely about to be on another planet if you catch my drift. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, Manny said that was by accident. Let's see. Multitasking and I don't have feelings. All right, man. Y'all y'all wilding. So Silky says, okay. Let's see. Cedric in the building says, I'm tired of seeing threes. Yeah, I mean, they've been hitting us with some threes. They got more twos on the way. I'm borderline, uh, I'm borderline tired of seeing the twos, to be honest. Kwame says, I like three, but they got to say Nike on the back for me to cop more. Um, You sound just like, that was something I would say, um, Kwame. That's exactly the same thing for me. So I, I feel you on that one. Um, Silky John says, oh, peace, cool. We good, man. We good. So, yeah. These Travis joints, man, I just think people were surprised that it had that big a stock. And to be honest, people, let's just be honest. In this case, people are saying, and I'm also seeing this too, Nike is basically giving what we've been begging for, right? Granted, this is my thing where the problem comes into play. And I'm going to put myself back on the main screen about this. Hold on. Boom. So... This is my thing. I've seen people saying, like, why are people upset that this shoe was so available? Because it was like, yo, um, this is what you guys have been asking for. Make make it, a, you know, not so stressful to cop the shoe when you finally do it and you guys are, like, still upset. So I always said this, too. I feel like Nike and or, you know, I guess it's released from the Travis website, but it's going to be filtered through Nike, I'm sure. My thing is this. It's kind of one of those... You damn if you do, you damn if you don't situations. And that's the type of situations Nike's in too right now with that. You know, people, you can't please them no matter what. If they would have made the shoe limited, we still would have said something negative. You know what I mean? It's still getting negative backlash either way. You know, and at this point, I'm pretty sure Nike's somewhere saying like, what do you all want from us? You know what I mean? To a certain extent. Um, let's see. Sergio Vapor says, let me see a Travis in 07. Um... Okay. Like in a seven, you want you want to make a Travis seven? That'd be interesting. Um, let's see. Silky says, it was my first retail Travis Scott. I mean, that's a lot of people. This was their first ever Travis Scott sneaker. To be honest, with the exception of hitting dunk size, like his uh those those black joints that he that we that we hit on, that was his size too. That was the only time I hit for a Travis for retail. All my Travis sneakers, I had to come off the hip with the chips and pay resale. That is the only one. That all black joint, the one that I did not like, that's the one I actually hit on. And it was for dunk. So it was for a good, you know, purpose. So salute to that. But um, I will say this. If, this. if this is your first one, man, be excited. You know what I mean? Don't worry about what the people saying, Briggs, this is that. 
Um, at the end of the day, yeah, it's a very simple shoe, Air Force One. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure if we all tried, we could probably most likely make this shoe. We could duplicate it. No problem. You know what I mean? Um, but with that being said, it's also coming from a special place. Like, man, this is good. I'm just very curious how this will age. Um, to be honest, other than the writing on it, you got a regular plain Jane Air Force One. And that's okay, you know what I mean? So, for the people who was, if you got them and you're happy, I know Dunks is happy, you know what I mean? Now, what I want to do is compare them to the other Travis Scott Air Force Ones. You can see the biggest difference. We got no hype in the building. What up, no hype? What up, what up? Smash that like button as y'all come in and out. Uh, Kwame says, does it come in special box or with any extra stuff? I don't think so. The only thing I think, right, and they had it on the website, I think if you, like, if you, um, and I don't think they have that sale going on no more, but whatever you bought, if you bought the shoe, then you would get, like, $5 for an album or whatever. Some little special they was running on this joint, too. But, I mean, I must just pull up the merch real quick. You know, let me share my screen real quick. I'll show what I'm actually looking at. Boom. That suitcase on here, and this stuff, is some of this stuff is still available, Suitcase, $150. I don't know what I would need the suitcase for. Not trying to sound like I'm hating. Um, and then I think what killed me is when I saw these tees going for $150, I kind of was like, all right, cool. Let me go ahead and, you know, let me go ahead and get out of this real quick. But then I think this stuff right here is the stuff they were selling along with it. Another thing I do want to talk on is we're going to compare the other Travis, like Air Force Ones too, man. So we go here. This is the one I have, the sale joint. Now, this joint dropped back in 2018, and resell on this joint now, yeah, averaging about $800, sounds about right. Um, this one, you can tell, more thought, more creativity. This one is plain, but these are the ones that got his grill on the toe, you know what I mean? If you can see that, if the camera does that injustice, and he always did something where it was removable. This time, I feel like there was just, to be honest, it comes across like, this one comes across as though it was like a last minute thing, if you ask me. You know what I mean? Um, Cedric says, I want to see J. Cole do a collab with Jordan. That would be dope. Then J. Cole, he did one with Puma. He did one with Puma. Uh, and I don't know, man. I think that, yeah, it would be nice, but I'm very curious what he would do. But I'm sure he wouldn't do something just as simple. You know what I mean? Because he's more that's his style now he's very simple now which is not a bad thing so yeah i would like to see what he come up with for sure or what he would put it how should i put it this way he's not going to come up with his own model most likely that's a thing too where you can't really compare gay to travis i know a lot of people's been comparing the album to basically like kanye a little bit um and i understand that but i'm talking from like a creative point of view yay designs his own stuff you know and or creates his own stuff or get help creating his own stuff you know whatever he's just yay doesn't his collabs is different like from everybody else's i feel like like if you think of the travis collab you know until his new shoe drop and this will be the first time that cut the check joint all his other shoes were successful models already he just put his twist to them now I say all that to say that doesn't work for everybody. You know, they're still trying to push off uh, Billy Irish or Billy uh, English or something like that. I don't really listen to it, but I think they're trying to get her to still pop. I think they got another shoe trying to gear up to get her on there. And her shoes haven't been doing well if we're going to keep it 100. And then I know the Tiana Taylor shoes did well. But, you know, if I look them up on resale, you know, the value on them, it's probably got a little bit, but not much, you know. But, I mean, she did try to knock it out the park, so I can't really knock her for that. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Let me hit the chat real quick. Let's see. Manny says, come with the Nada Kwame. Okay. Um, let's see. Divine Photo says, what's good? What up, Divine? What up? What up? Y'all smash that like button as y'all come in and out of this joint, man. We just chicken, We just kicking back, cooling, talking to Travis Drop. And then I'm going to talk a little bit of the complete history of the Travis because I do got an article coming up that I do want to kind of check out real quick. So y'all smash the like button as y'all come in and out. And I, like I said, if Dunks joins, I will add him on. But I don't see him back in backstage. Um, I'm going to keep it moving, though. Let's see. Uh, Kwame says, damn, usually Travis come with cool stuff. I use the bag my sixes came with. You know what? I be I, My joint's still in the box. I don't even know what I would use them for. That's my thing. But, yeah, I remember it did came with a... Um, it came with a... It definitely came with a uh, bag. 
So uh, both of them. You know what though? I remember I bought that uh, for those sixes. I bought the uh, vest off of like sneakers. I man, I don't know why I bought that thing. I should probably sell it because I'm like, bro, I've worn it like all of one time, and I knew that was gonna happen too. So I was like, man, I shouldn't have even bought this. And I think that vest was up there too. So I'm probably gonna like lose money selling the joint. But I definitely ain't gonna. At least I'll get something back. I guess you know what I mean. Yeah, one of, that's an item I don't wear enough in my closet. I'll say that. Um, let's see. Manny says, J. Cole stuck at Puma in the moment. Vapor, uh, Divine 100 salute from Manny. Got Divine Photo says, which Air, which Air Force One would you prefer, the Supreme, Nocter, or Utopia? Um, the Supreme just got the, yeah, the Supreme just got the regular little red Supreme logo on it. I know which one that one is. The Nocter joint is the certified lover boy, right? And then Utopia is this. Um, if I got a pick, to be honest, I probably would take the Certified Lover Boys between those three. Um, mainly because, I mean, the Supreme stuff is not bad, but it's it's very simple. It's They're all simple, but I mean, if you're going to go all white, go all white. So that's my thing. This isn't all white. Certified Lover Boy did it right. A classic all white Air Force One, but they still put their enough touches on it to call it theirs. The fact that's one of the many, that's one of the few sneakers that I feel like Drake them got right over there, in my opinion. So I would roll with the, I would roll with the Drake joint. Um, no hype test. I take the Drake joints over there. Materials are better. Butter got you. See, I think that's a lot of people's mindset, man. I would, I would do the same thing. I mean, that's just where it just makes sense to me. It just makes up. They just slightly better in my opinion. Uh, Manny says, agreed, 85, salutes. Um, no Hype says, Manny salutes, 100. Kwame says, I take the Supreme out of those three. Um, okay. And I guess all preference at the end of the day, but I get it, you know? But you still, because depending on what pants you're wearing or shorts, you ain't going to even be able to, or I ain't going to say shorts, but whatever pants you're wearing, you may not even see the logo anyway. So these are all going to be... Like, I feel like this is going to be, I guess this is one of those, if there was ever such thing as a beater Travis, then that, this would probably be it. And I do want to pull up this Air Force One too. This one I've never always understood why this even existed. But this one, the Cactus Jack one, this is my least favorite one out of the Travis like Air Force One line. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. And then this whole thing right here where the zip, I think this... It, Forget the color and all. Cool. We can, Travis uses unique colors. We can accept that. But this zipper on the front that cover up the laces, what's the goal? Like, I'm trying to, you know, I don't get it. That's kind of throwing me off about that. Um, Let's see. Divine Photo says, if Travis would did would have did a reverse swoosh on the Air Force One, that joint would have been sold. Oh, heck yeah. And see, this is the thing. If they would have did that reverse Nike check that is usually known for, or one thing about the Air Force Ones, and I'm a, um, let's see, let me see if the other ones got it on it. Actually, they just got a spin rooney But one thing that this is not showing you on this one, and I'm pretty sure you already know this, but I mean, that actually, I don't think they've done a reverse swoosh actually on the Air Force One because this right here, uh, this is Velcro underneath here. And it comes with replacement swishes. I think it comes with like three other replacement swishes. Granted, these are my favorite ones on there, so I just leave it like it is. But yeah, it comes with replacement swishes, so you can do whatever. But my thing is this. You're right. I think I would have liked to see them do a reverse swish on the all-way Air Force One. And if they would have did that and then imprinted the like, and, and, stole, and they actually stitched in the Cactus Jack logo, them joints would have been through the roof, bro. You know what I mean? But this is my thing. How you go from something like this, where you can tell they use this to try to get some form of creativity in it. I mean, because they got the uh, grills on it. And then even if you go this one, the white one, I, to be honest, I've only seen like one to two people have the white joints, man. You, And if you do find that joint, I guarantee you, you not finna, what that person trying to sell it for and what it's probably most likely going to look like if it's been worn you're gonna be like, yeah, no, I'm not paying you. I'm not paying you anything, you know, for that. And then at that point, it's one of those shoes where I think people didn't realize at the level of what it would be. I guess I don't know. That was one of those weird things. But yeah, the white pair is awesome. I love that one. I would love to have that pair for real. But I got these right here. They do. They'll do. 
You know what I mean? But resale on these joints here, averaging what? A thousand to twelve hundred dollars, you know? Last sold was nine hundred on these white joints, you know? So like I said, if you can negotiate, you can get some stuff. You know what I mean? I have done that. That's why I kind of prefer the eBay route. You know what I mean? If I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Uh Kwame says these still better than the trainers and uh i had them yeah i remember those travis scott trainers man and i am about to pull up this uh nice kicks article in just like a quick second i do got it up in one of the tabs over there uh manny gave me the poop emoji you know i can't youtube don't really want his cousin man but i know what you're talking about i almost said it too um yeah the travis scott joint it's not bad it's not bad it's not bad but it's just no thought put into it you know what i'm saying i guess i guess what a lot of people is saying or probably thinking and just not having found the right way to word it and i think this is the best way to word it about this shoe i think it's that shoe where um sure it's not bad sure it's a travis scott shoe but when it comes to travis shoes even the least favorite ones like even the air force ones even these um air maxes you know we can go down the line um the trainers that kwame was talking about I will say this, you can tell they actually put some thought in or creativity into the shoe. This is the first like Travis shoe where I'm like, this doesn't look like, this looks like, yo, this, you know what I mean? Why? You know what I mean? This is a little too, it was almost insulting a little bit. So this was the one I feel like they put the least amount of like effort into is the word I'm looking for. Divine Photo says, some people on eBay selling those Utopia forces for $400. Um... If they got them early, no pun intended, yeah, because if they don't sell them now, by the time people get their pairs, that four hundred dollars is gonna be two fifty, easily two fifty. The last sold on this joint was two eighty, and I feel like that's worth. That's the best you can pretty much hope for. You know what I mean? Like, um, is that like if you got them, you better pray you can flip. It's one of those. It's gonna be a quick flip. It's a quick flip shoe. Um, Especially for the kiddos as they're going to get ready to prepare to go back to school. Some parents want to go ahead and get their kids stuff out the way because they're asking for it. Stuff like that. But for the most part, yeah. And one thing I'll say about Travis too, he has a humongous, like super dedicated fan base. So I know they was going to sell. I knew that wasn't going to be like that forever, but it did definitely set there for a long time. Um, but I think as people saw that it was coming a little too easy. I think botters and stuff backed off, you know, if they could even buy it. But see, this is the first time also on the Travis Scott website. It fooled me because I don't know if you recall, but all the other like Travis drops, it was always like a raffle form where you pretty much came in the site, enter your like email, phone number and your name as you select your size. It was a raffle, you know. And now this is the first one you go on the Travis Scott website and it's first come, first serve. The merch has always been first come, first serve. But this is the first time I've seen it like where it's like just, hey, it's a free for all. And then I was like, wow. And then we got some people to hit. I know we had like at least two or three people hit in the sold out discord, though. Um, let me touch on the other part of this article real quick. Um, the complete history of Travis Scott sneaker collabs. Now, I found this actually interesting, and I think this is article actually dropped yesterday. So I definitely want to check it out, go over with you guys, and then I'm going to be on like another, you know, like a little over like 35, 45 minutes, man. So we just kicking back, relaxing, y'all having some snacks, man. Um, definitely something I feel like we, I knew we we're going to have some surprises with Nike, though, to keep it 100 I was surprised, but I knew they had, like, it's been too quiet. And that's how Nike, sometimes, they like to do that surprise. They're, like, the only brand that can drop something. Not the only, but they're one of the few brands that they can try to drop something quietly. And I feel like Nike doesn't even spend money on advertisement anymore. And if they do, it, it, it comes off where it's like it's not them. Like, it seems like we're already talking just by word of mouth. You know what I mean? So maybe that's part of Nike's plan. You know, who knows? Um, let me touch this article real quick. It says the complete history of Travis Scott sneaker collabs. So this post may contain affiliate links, obviously. So yeah, it looks like they're going to cover it all the way. Um, the Travis Scott humility Lang. I never knew that shoe even existed. I just learned something new. Let me read through this real quick. It says, let's see. Travis Scott can make a compelling case for the most influential man in sneakers right now. Would you guys agree or disagree? 
Um, I'm gonna say yeah. He he definitely. We can give him. We can give him that. We can give him that title for sure. Um, let's see. It says while the size, scale, and skew associated with his name don't measure up to Mike LeBron or his mentor Kanye. Young LaFame, Young LaFlame has made sure to deliver the heat over the last few years with a slew of sneaker collabs. Originally signed to Reebok during his mixtape come up, which I never knew this. I never knew Travis Scott was signed to Reebok. Interesting. Did not know that. His partnership with the Victor did not make for any co-branded releases, but did set the foundation for the endorsement work he'd do in the future with Nike, Helmet Lang, and of course, Jordan brand. So I didn't know he was did a deal with Reebok, but to be honest, I'm not surprised that he did a deal with Reebok. Right. And I say all that to say, because, um, at one point Reebok was that shoe that was like associated with the hip hop community. Seems like everybody in the hip hop community had like a Reebok deal. You know, we can take it all the way from Wayne and the hot boys to soldier slim, uh, as we know him, you know, Magnolia slim, you know, RIP. But yeah, those guys rocked the Reeboks. It was kind of a thing. In fact, me and Dunks, I remember us had the same color Reeboks at one point. And uh, Dunks actually knew how to do this unique type of lacing and make like the make like a like a star. So like, um, he was definitely the customizer back then on those joints. But Reebok, I didn't know Travis Scott actually was on Reebok. So that's reading is fundamental. Interesting. Manny says I'm getting ready for the fight right now. Okay. What, you going out on that thing? Are you watching it from the crib or what? Y'all having a little mini party at the crib or something about to turn up? Um, what time the fight started? Start at 8.30, right? So, just in t I think it's going to start right when I get off live. So, this, perfect, this is the perfect window to have this live because, you know, like I said, I may find a way to usually low-key, though. I have a feeling somebody's going to have it, like, up on YouTube, even though they're going to take it down. But what some people do will broadcast it on there live don't uh they'll show it but they'll like as they like go to the corners and stuff it's little unique ways you can get around watching it and sometimes they throw the title off where that's you can search it but it may not pull it up but i guarantee you it's getting played behind youtube's back before they catch that joint um let me read the rest of this article real quick says read that one uh see the complete history of travis scott stinker collabs below so this is the travis scott helmet lane so hopefully I read that correctly. Never heard of them as a brand, but this is a shoe. I don't even remember where these dropped. Did anybody? I don't even know nobody knew these joints. Um, but it looks like it's their logo, brown. He's always been in the brown. So um, unique sneaker. Um, will the sneaker community want that though? Um, maybe so. But in general, in today's time. I personally don't see it, but I, I get surprised each and every day. You know what I mean? Uh, Manny says, low-key at the crib tonight. It's raining OD over here, fams. We just had a mini shower, or so, like a mini storm. It wasn't no shower. It was a mini storm, but it, like, came and went, and we good. Now, like, honestly, looking out, the only reason I know that it rained is because I know that it rained. But for the most part, with so much humidity and everything, man, it's drying things right up. So this is it. Okay, so this joint was actually a boot. So I, this looks like a low top version. Okay, and then there's a high top version. The high top version not looking bad. It looks like it got like a strap around the toe. Like back here, it has it. Well, they do have it here too, but they have it on the the lows got a strap around the back, and these don't, but the highs do. And see, here's another. I wanted to see what that logo was. It looks like a bull logo. Very interesting. Yeah, it says this is the nylon high top and the colorway they called it coffee. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, it looks like they did a black pair. These ain't it though. The brown pair, these brown pair don't look too bad, but am I tripping or do the black pair looks like the toe is extra like pointy? You know what I mean? Looks kind of, I don't know, looks different. But I never knew this was a Travis Scott like collab sneaker. Interesting. And here's another low. You know what these are starting to look like to me, Manny. These are starting to look like the um the creative recreation. The the Rex. Starting to look like those joints, man. With the toe strap. I mean, 
I ain't gonna say that Rex is the only people that can do that, but whenever I see that, it just makes me think of them. That's how impactful that was. Probably should find more information on it, but it's hard to find information. It's one of those sneakers where if you know, you know. So it says January 30th, 2017. So I guess that's whenever that dropped. Interesting. Where was I? Because I mean, I feel like I was heavy in the community by 2017, but I didn't see that. But then again, you know, wasn't like Nike or Adidas or something like. So I guess my mind was like not even there looking into this. I don't even, honestly, I never even heard of like uh, Hellmont Lane. To be honest, I don't even think I ever heard of them before. So yeah, I wouldn't even know where to look. It says consisting of clothes, kicks, the Travis Scott Hell Mug, Hell Mutt, Hell Mutt Lane collection launched in January of 2017. As for footwear, the neon high top. And Neon Low Top Compose said comp uh, category with both styles sporting dual branding and custom patch pack patches on the tongue. Got you, got you. So, so they dropped in 2017. Did anybody know about that shoe? I really didn't. And then I'm looking at this one underneath the Travis Scott Jordan Trummer. Uh, yeah, Trunner. I didn't know this shoe existed. I'm about to pull it up on the screen, but I want to read the rest of this article says made in italy okay so these only dropped in italy i'm assuming made it well it don't have to drop in italy to be made in italy but yeah made in italy made in italy black and coffee colorways dress each uh, each cut cutting in at 596 dollars for the highs and 395 dollars for the lows respectively yeah you got to put respectively on god sheesh so the retail price on these, pretty much this collab right here, he deal with uh, Helmut Lane, Helmut Lane. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. That, this shoe, the high top joint is basically $600, $596. We're just going to go ahead and round it up to $600. $395, we going to round it up to $400. So the shoes come out the gate retail-wise swinging, um, swinging like, resale price wise man that's crazy okay then we got a travis scott and jordan truner x i'm assuming this should be like a runner shoe i didn't know this shoe existed either i think i may known about it but i don't think i like i don't know i don't remember nothing about these joints so i definitely am curious when these actually drop um let's see cedric says i wonder how sb11 would look um I don't think they're going to do that one, man. Uh, the reason I think they don't touch the 11s, rumor is, and don't quote me on this, Cedric, but rumor is, and I'm pretty sure you heard it, uh, the 11s is Michael Jordan's like favorite silhouette, so there's no major collabs with it. I know there's supposed to be an OVO with like pink, pink colorway and all that, this, that, and the third, and another colorway, um, but those are just exclusive, I think, to Drake. Like, he, he's the only one. Like, it's not no whole bunch of them floating around so that's why we had that whole controversy back in the day when somebody had them and it was just kind of funny i'm um, not gonna say no names but yeah uh, i don't think the 11s they don't if you can name a there's no collab with the 11s i don't think you know what i mean i think that's just kind of one of those shoes that's like it's kind of off limits granted it wouldn't be a collab because it's sb is at the home of nike but still, I think it would still be too close for comfort for Michael Jordan. So who knows? But yeah. But, I mean, it could be cool to get a concept, though, just to see what it'd be about. So back to these joints right here. Wow. I've never seen... Are these supposed to be swimmer shoes or something? Or that's like just regular blue carpet? And apparently these drop unreleased friends and family exclusive oh okay so yeah these never made it to the public this is just a friends and family pair interesting i noticed there's a lot of like travis scott like friends and family sneakers like we can say like the there's a yellow jordan six travis scott that's like that's a um friends and family and of course you know the purple fours that's travis scott joints that's supposed to be exclusive like friends and family as well um let me read this real quick it says Riffing off Roth, um Arguegos, perhaps in regards to color blocking, the unreleased Travis Scott and Jordan Trummer LX saw the flame early induction to Jordan Brand. Okay, so this is kind of one of the first ones he kind of did with Jordan Brand. Um, yeah, because I know he also did the four. That was the first one to drop. He says, I didn't want, and this is a quote, I guess, but it says, 
I didn't want to do anything traditional, said Travis. When speaking on his first collab, I never seen the uh, trummer with so many colors on it. I wanted something different to see that model differently. Man, I didn't even know this model even existed, though, for real. So he wanted something just like a different, like, customization type of thing. Eh, no, but that's what he's kind of known for. Unique colorways and palettes that you didn't think would work. It says, Travis Scott and Nike Air Force One. Now, this one, for some strange reason, not showing the pictures, but... I think we already got a good gist of what they look like anyway. Um, let me see if I can keep scrolling. Yeah, because this is probably all photos that is just not loading up for whatever reason. I hope the whole rest of this. Okay, cool. We got some more coming back like this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, and yeah, it was a lot of Air Force One photos of this. They're probably talking about like more different colorways. So pretty much this that's, this is still the same thing. Very interesting, but yeah. This is the Air Force One, and I guess he took the time to swap out the different Nike checks on there because I told y'all it, it comes with the silver joint. So these dropped in December 5th, 2017. So it says, releasing alongside Air Force One collabs from the likes of Dun C, Rockefeller Records, which I also wanted to bring that up too. The Rockefeller Air Force One is no different and simpler than that Travis Sky Utopia joint. I'm going to pull that up as well. Let me, um, for the people who don't know, the Rockefeller joint. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see. Rock, uh, fella. Let me see if I can do it. Or if I got to put that joint real close. Rockefeller is like Jay-Z and uh, Dame Dash them, man. So, yeah, here it is right here. This is the Rockefeller Air Force One. This joint, look at Last Soul on this joint. And keep in mind, this right here also, the only thing on here that's unique is that Rockefeller logo on the back heel tab. Look at the last sell price on this joint. Look at the, I don't know, man. This could be one of those, if history repeats itself, if you and it's going to take some time, but if you keep them joints clean, the Utopia joints, and some impactful happens, them joints are going to skyrocket too. But they're probably going to dip first, like Kwame said. I think they will dip first. Um, but yeah, these are the joints right here that the people are saying like, yo, people pay what? Last sold 1200 some, averaging seven, 1700 But yeah, so last sold 1200 So you're not going to get this joint for nothing less than like $1,300, you know? And this joint dropped. This was in 2004. Oh, and then there's another one. This is the other one right here. So they made a cleaner version right here. My bad. I'm, I'm getting this up. I'm catching this up. But yeah. So this is the one from 04. Sheesh. The one from 04. And think about it. It shows it was originally $90. But see, this is like the next version they did. And this is the one they're talking about in that article from 2017. $150. So they sold it for $150 back then. And so Travis selling his for $150. People, you know, kind of giving a little backlash on it. But at the same time, this shoe right here, no different than the Utopia joint if you want to keep it a honey. And not only think the joint got the, it don't even have the, like, the Dubray joints. Like, if they do, it's got that, like, white plastic Dubray. I don't want that one. I want the actual silver joint. But this is all it is, that logo of the Rockefeller joint on the back. And even still, at $150, last sold was $298. So that person paid over $300-something dollars. So yeah, these joints averaging about 280 anyway. You know? That's just what comes with the game. They're gonna go up a little bit over time. So they may stay there. Like in order for the shoe to really, really get up there, somebody's gonna have to hold them for the long run. I mean, and pray that somebody's want them whenever, you know, a certain time. But yeah, that's that's very interesting, man. I, I wanted to bring it up if you want to compare it. Nike is not their first time doing something like this. And or I guess you can say Travis just kind of joined something that was already there. Um, Chapo in the building, hopefully I'm saying the name correctly, says, I wouldn't consider them joints a true collab. Why not? More like a custom. Um, you're talking about the Air Force Ones, the Rockefeller joints, or just the Travis Utopias, or both? Um, you would consider them more of a custom? Why? Because they just stopped the... But if you're going to say that, then you got to say that about Supreme, too, you know? Both, so you're saying for both, but then you might as well say like, well, Supreme. Then that's a that's a custom too, 
you know, because all they did was put their supreme little stamp on the back hill, you know. Might as well throw them under the bus, too. I'm not saying I agree or disagree with you, and I don't think what you're saying is wrong. There's some truth behind it. Um, there's definitely some truth behind it, so I understand what you mean for sure. Um, it definitely feels more like a custom because, I mean, they didn't do nothing unique. But, I mean, if you're going to use that logic, though, you can easily say that with, well, I was going to try to bring Travis's, like, the sixes in here, but, see, he added the the stash bag, you know? He added the glow in the dark, you know? So that right there, I guess, makes it its own shoe. And I can see that, you know what I mean? Um, let me read this real quick. I think I read that one. Um, let's see. Travis Scott and Nike Air Force One low may go down as the most sought out after sneaker from the Air Force One white on white relaunch. So that's a, possibly some truth to that for sure. Um, but I didn't know this was like, that shoe was in 2017. Dang. I'm man. Let me check this joint. Hold on. Cause I ain't know my joint was from 2017. I need to check it. It's crazy. They're 2018, so yeah. I think the article may be, but maybe he, he was wearing them in 2017. Probably that's when, but they sometime will go a whole year before they dropped them joints, so possibly could be that, most definitely. Um, worn by Travis on a regular, the Nike the Nike boy displayed the same DIY actits um, introduced by Virgil on many of the off-white collabs with mods to the flame heating up this release. Gotcha. So let's see. Um, Chapo says Cactus Jacks five on the way. How you know that? I don't think I seen them. Is that? I don't think there's a Cactus Jack five. I'm very curious what it would look like though. I ain't saying it is or ain't, but I don't. I ain't know about it. You're telling me something new. Um, I definitely would like to see it for sure. Um, let's see. The shoes made for a great creative canvas, allowing wearers. To swap out an invert and invert modular branding. Even better, some sneakerheads dyed their pairs to include Travis. The tie-dye takes are pretty sick too. I remember that. People went through the dying stage of the shoe. I'm glad I would not do that, you know, but some people did dye their shoe. Like I think cause he what happened is he did the joint, and I think probably that's why they put on in made him do that so it, yeah here's his joint where he dyed them and it's like that green colorway i mean but travis got access to get more whenever he wants to though that's the difference um let's see chapo says i seen them but the picture is blurry um i'm surprised it went under radar got you got you got you so yeah this is the air force one joint um now next up we should all know this one this is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 4. Um, arguably one of my favorite shoes. And low-key, I know the pictures that I take don't show any justice. My pair, man, I feel like I have effed them up. Um, they are, and it's one of those shoes, low-key, I don't think you can clean it. Not the bash of shoe, it's a dope shoe. But it's a shoe, like, once you mess that joint up, I don't think you can clean the joint. Point blank period, I don't think you can clean it. But this is Travis rocking these joints right here. Ironically, the blue, you know, around here. But I think that's supposed to be for like, you know, where represent where he's from. So yeah. Retailing for 225, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 4 Cactus Jack saw a homage to the Oilers. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was definitely dedicated to the Oilers. Uh releasing as the first official Jordan B collab from La Flame. The brand celebrated Scott in Houston with a special Cactus Jack Carnival. History will tie this shoe to its two unreleased counterparts. Man, I think about, look how like I talked about this stuff way before I even started reading in the article, man. Just sometimes if you know the game, you just know the game, you know what I mean? And that's not like saying I know it all, but like it just can tell, it's be surprised how like I don't have to read the article all the way to know that like, you know what I mean? I don't to to not know to to know some of this stuff. Um, let's see. Chapel says I still got them joints dead stock. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, that's crazy, man. Wear your sneakers, but I understand you are probably waiting for a special occasion. But you you uh, I recommend wearing them joints because if it do sit too long, that glue and stuff will get loose, and then when you do wear it, it won't. It'll be hard for it to like um not fall apart, so to speak. 
Yeah, so it says history will tie this shoe with its yeah, unreleased counterparts, but it's also been related to the Raptors Air Jordan 4 previously associated with Drake. I'm not com I don't think that part I got I got to call a uh, cap on that part, man. It may be true, but nobody wasn't we talked about the Raptor Drake 4 joints, but we wasn't like we wasn't stressing it if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like honestly, I, we don't even talk about a lot of Drake shoes just don't go under the radar if you're going to keep it 100. Um, let's see. With this collab, Travis joined the likes of Cause, Eminem, and Undefeated as in titles to have a Air Jordan 4. Okay, yeah, because I know Eminem has some 4s for sure. Cause, arguably my favorite shoe of all time. So, yeah. And I think they got the purple suede joint right here. But I think these pictures have, I guess, wherever they got the sources from have been taken down. But here we go right here. The purple joint, which very ironically, the type of fit he's wearing with it, purple suede. And here they are again, when him and Kylie was together, which I didn't even know they broke up until the album dropped. And uh, I've already got, we've gotten Dunks like feedback from um, how he feels about the album. A lot of people saying, you know, and I know this ain't Music Monday, but we're talking Travis. So I think it's, this is, this is stuff we can talk about, right? Um... I personally have only heard one song, um, the one with Drake, of course. Now, that one go hard, but uh, the rest of the album, I just haven't really got into it. Um, not, I'm not going to say yay or nay, but a lot of people saying it's not it's not nothing you would write home about. And I've always said that about his music in general. I'm not saying Travis don't make great music, but what I am saying is it's fast food music to me. Like Once I hear that joint for like two weeks, I don't want to hear another Travis song until he drops something new. I know. It's kind of weird, but that's just where my brain be at. Um, let me read this real quick. It says, Unreleased Friends and Family Exclusive 2018 is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 4 Purple Suede, the best collab for the young artist. We just might have to say yes. Sadly, they never released. Travis and his DJ Chase B have been seen rocking them on the regular with few other friends and family members even having access to a pair. Now, what killed me is this is a purple joint. Now, I'm pretty sure maybe the ones that are blocked out, it has like that uh, black ones because, you know, some people have the one where he, the one he wearing is the white on the inside, that inside of that sole. But apparently there are some black ones out there too. So I, I didn't even know it was that. Uh, Chapo says, Utopia is dope. That's what's up, man. I may have to check it out. I definitely will anyway, especially as it get in rotation. I just got to probably... Let it grow on me. Now, these, I don't think I knew about these. I don't even think I knew about these joints right here. Travis Scott, Air Jordan 4, Olive. Now, I've seen, like, the green joint, but maybe this is the, the lighting. But, yeah, I didn't know about this colorway. And he's seen rock. Oh, this is like that. Yes, I did. That's like that, like, it's called an Olive, but, yeah, I've seen this joint, yeah. Not his own feet, yeah. Travis do some unique colorways, man. Um, let's see. He says the olive joints is crazy. Let's see. Kwame says at least the Canyon Four is close to that Travis friends and family. Yeah, true. That's about closest. Unless they. This is my thing. That's how you know Nike them got so many things in the in the bag though. People be saying like, man, like Adidas come back. This is my thing. Look at the stuff they got unreleased. The purple joints. These olive joints, you know what I mean? They've got some stuff where if they ever feel defeated, they got bums that, like, this will be a bum in the sneaker community. Like, boom. You know, that's what I mean. Like, it'll bring Nike. If Nike even thought they, like, if they needed some motivation to get pick me back up, they got some bangers. Um, Ch uh, Chapo says, best Travis collab. They're never coming out. These joints is fine. Yeah, these joints is fire, but um, I I would definitely go for them. I ain't going to lie. You know, yeah. I don't think they're coming out. So release date, unreleased, friends and family, exclusive 2018. The Travis Scott Air Jordan 4 Olive was actually the first of the Flames Air Jordan 4s to leak. Worn by his boo, Kylie Jenner, the shoe also dubbed as khaki or dark gray is once again only made for those in his inner circle. Paris has popped up. Paris 
have popped up on the on the like of Scott and Shrek West varying in hills and branding and midsole blocking. So you just got to be cool with Travis to have a pair of those. You're not everybody going to get those. Next up, we have the Travis Scott Air Force One sale. Um, obviously, I think it's a dope shoe. I own it. Um, very unique shoe, man. I wear it every now and then, so I definitely got to get it back out more in the open, too. Um, says, a slight update on the previous Air Force One collab. The Travis Air Force One sale simply screwed the hue on the OG to the more yellowish tan and worn tone. So that one they showed previous, that had to be the all-white joints. So, and people were dying the all-white joints who had them. It says, once again, they came with removable branding, making these fun wear for fans of all ages. So, yeah. Dope shoe. Now, this I don't know about. Travis Scott Jordan Troner LT Tinker Astro World Sample. Well, obviously, I don't. That's why I don't know about it, because it's a sample. Makes sense. Um... During 2018, World Festival, Travis Scott took IG to show, yeah, took to IG to show off a sample reportedly gifted to him by Tinker Hatfield, strengthening the connection between Jordan Brand and Cactus Jack himself. He rocked a pair of Travis Scott and Jordan Diamond Low Tinker Astro World samples. Uh, not for me, man. You can tell why that one don't get uh, the picture don't get flown around a lot. Just to keep it 100. But not for me. Not knocking it. Very colorful. And I get the concept. But not for me. Now, y'all already know these right here off the rip. And this is a Travis Scott Jordan uh, Jordan 1. The high, the brown joint. Now, I never knew Travis took this photo right here. He apparently has his hair with blunt. I didn't know that. Very interesting. Not judging. But, yeah. These broke the sneaker community internet for a while. Like these joints, I remember when they dropped. It says, dropping during the Grammy Awards on sneakers and on the 15th anniversary of the college dropout, the Travis Scott and Jordan 1 release in quick strike fashion on its birthday in late April, lightning struck twice. It says, for May 2019, the shoe has an official release date with sneakerheads scrambling for the store list and hoping for a restock if they miss. So, yeah. This was that shoe is a quick strike joint. Yeah, these were the ones that most likely when you get these, you're probably gonna you just had to be lucky. It says Travis got an Air Jordan One Low Grammy. Did not know these exist. Apparently, looking at the angle now from one side of the joint, it looks like it's like a um, it looks like it's like the mocha joint, but it's not. You can tell it's the lighting, but it's definitely not the mocha joint, but yeah. Because he got the red laces in there, so very interesting. This is unreleased as well. Debuted at the Grammy Awards on foot by La Flame, which is Travis' nickname, I guess. Um, a new Travis Scott and Air Jordan 1 low scenes, sees Gucci colors of green and red on the looks like a canvas upper. Backwards branding is present on the lateral side of each shoe with minimal logos taking the frayed look popular on the past SBs. So, yeah, he got, there's some, it's crazy that it's this many Travis sneakers that, like, just haven't even dropped. Nike got some bangers. Now, this one right here was a letdown for me. Um, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 33. Now, this is the Travis Scott joint. Um, not for me. And I think we went over that time and time again. I think, personally, I think I've seen these at Foot Locker sitting for a minute. I know eventually they probably did sell out, but I saw these joints sitting for a minute for real. Um, let's see, February 14th, 2019, All-Star Weekend, a love of hoops, a love for hoops find the Travis Scott and Air Jordan 33 set to take flight on Valentine's Day. Pure performance meshed with Cactus Jack Juice Pause. This sees La Flame first for Ray in modern basketball. Got you. So that's like his basketball sneaker, basically. But all Jordans technically... They did do a lifestyle thing, so not all joints, but majority of the joints we got, you you can ball in them. You know what I mean? They're meant to be balled in. Uh, Chavo says, there's a lot of joints in the vault we don't know about. Exactly. That's what I said. They got haymakers, bro. 
Nike got some haymakers and we're going to keep it 100. <clears throat> so, next up, this is a Travis Scott Air Jordan 6. This is, I've seen this one, you can get like, um, prices have been kind of somewhat reasonable with these guys. So, yeah, arguably one of my favorite shoes in my uh, collection that I don't wear enough. But, yeah, I definitely like these right here. A lot of people actually have these. These dropped in spring slash summer of 2019. Debuted on stage by Travis Scott, a Super Bowl 53. The Travis Scott and Air Jordan 6 appears to be another hit from JB, which is Jordan brand for short. Really redressing the Jordan 6 in olive tones and adding a stash pocket pairs are projected to release at retail in spring slash summer of 2019. So yeah, I mean, that green is definitely different, but I think it's good for fall. Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. Yeah, this was that revert. This is the mocha. Then they did a reverse mocha. So I'm very curious when this article was done because it's probably not going to have some of the more up-to-date stuff on there. So we'll see for sure. We'll be able to tell once we get close to the end because looks like we're almost there anyway. Um, let's see. But him is rocking those joints. When I look at them from this angle, they don't look bad. But I, didn't, I wasn't really feeling them back then. So and it says January... 20 uh no july 19 2019 shock drop will the air jordan one low be a sleeper hit in 2019 if travis scott can assist then yes it will uh taking taking the tones of high top take a cut in below the ankle the travis scott air jordan one low has been previewed with a heavier balance of browns says travis has stated that the first brown lows that released as a shock drop are as good as gone. However, one would assume the next pair will see a more general release. Got you. And this is the Air Force One right here that we were talking about. Um, apparently, yeah, I, this one was like, I guess it says first previewed in 2018. Travis latest take on the Air Force One is a much more be spoken than a previous DJ DIY styles, which is do it yourself styles is what that stands for. Um, Chapo says, I only got the olive sixes and the fours. I mean, that's really low key. That's all you low key need for real. Those are two big, those are two bangers. Those are two bangers for show, bro. That's what's up. I see a homage to premium pairs from the two thousands of sorts basketball stitching texas tagging and a host of panels make for a carnival and colorway that screams astroworld in fact houstonians which is basically saying the people from houston or that lives in houston got early access to these the weekend of astroworld 2019 i've seen some people literally just fly down there and just be there for like trying to get early access if they're going to do it around that time some people are that dedicated which i ain't knocking them but hey I ain't never want to know shoot that bad. So next up, they got the Travis Scott Nike Air Force One sample. Did not know they did one of these. I've never seen this before either. So apparently this is a sample, but that's all you kind of get of that. So they just got the, literally, I guess it's supposed to match like the Louis Vuitton joint. I guess somewhat, I don't know. Very interesting. It says, months after the second Travis Scott and Nike Air Force One Low, a sample version was showcased by LaFlame himself with color choices similar to Undefeated, Nike Dunk High, um, NL, the Travis Scott and Nike Air Force One Low sample couldn't been could have been a hit hit had it made it way to the masses. Yeah, they so it's never been released, it's unreleased. So they're saying it could have been a hit if they would have actually dropped it. Um to quote Yay, I guess we'll never know. Chapo says yellow sixes is the one of the best. Um, those I've seen only floating around, but I think they said that's only like two. And this is right here. The Travis Scott Air Jordan six yellow. Now I've heard mixed stories. Somebody says it's only one made and they got it. Then I see another video floating around. A person say they got it and it's one of two. And they're saying they know that their stuff is real too. So they've made two. And I'm like, I mean, you're going off somebody's word. Ain't no telling, man. But 
All I know is I better not see nobody other than who had it originally talking about theirs and then the other person. You know, but see if it's this is my thing. If it's just one of one or one of two, or if it's only two pairs, uh you mean to tell me one shop got one and then Travis himself may or may not have them because he go he probably gave them away? That's my thing. So where is the other one? Just curious. Um and why doesn't Nike ever try to come out and debunk some of these rumors? That would be very nice too. Uh Chavo says it's only two pairs in existence. That's what I'm hearing too. I heard that as well. Um, don't know how true it is, but I mean, it possibly could be. It says like, likely a friends and family exclusive. Travis Scott has been seen out and about in a yellow version of his Air Jordan Six collab. Details are almost identical to the one, the retail editions, only shifting the olive upper to the of uh, the yellow so basically they kept everything the olives had but made it yellow but i think they did pretty good on a british khaki pair too i like the british khaki pair which i have those um travis got nike sb dunk yeah so these dropped in february 29th uh 2020 so yeah this was a hard shoe to obtain arguably a lot of people's favorite and you can also that uh bandana Print, you can actually peel that off. Just FYI. Says Nike SB craze will took off with the help of the flame. His signature Wild West design echoes landed on the iconic low top as a Priestley print, which is basically bandana. I just call it bandana print, but uh, Paisley is like the actual like pattern, I think it is called. And earthly tones came together with a rope-like textured laces. Now that really set the, set the shoe off too with the rope laces. That was dope too. Um, Chavo says I wasn't feeling the British khaki. I saw him in person. Okay, teach your own. You know, can't knock can't knock you for that. Travis Scott Nike Air Max 270 reacts. Now y'all know I recently just copped this joint and it was for the gym, man. And I gotta say, gym wise, it's pretty awesome. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm, you know. How should I put it? I just feel like I'm, you know, I'm dripped out in that mug, you know, and getting the zone. Most definitely. Damn, I'm trying to think because I usually wear my joints on Friday, but I feel like I did something else. I don't know. When you start collecting, I got a whole little mini collection going just for my sneak, my, uh, my, my gym sneakers. So this one right here says May 29, 2020. Um, and this one is, of course, the Travis Scott React. I'm just going to call it that. It says the Travis Scott and Nike Air Max. 270 React uh, took an eager approach with a modern silhouette as a dusted lookalike um, landed on the pair with neutral tones. So there you go. Chapel says PlayStation Junks uh, is tough too. Uh, that's like that shoe where I don't think nobody has it for real. Um, other than Travis, which is the next shoe up, obviously. Um, yeah, this right here. Uh, if they was to drop this again, I don't care who's at top, right? Like who's over Nike, this, that, or who is like whatever brand is getting close to Nike that can talk a little trash. If Nike dropped these, we're all going, Hey, you know what? We're sorry, man. You know what I mean? One of those says at the height of the dunk wave, Travis Scott and PlayStation teamed up to give five winners, the Travis PlayStation dunks lows. No images of the pairs from a winner have surfaced yet. So, wow. Just learned something very new. Very, very new. Apparently, there was only five pairs gifted, you know? I'm not saying Travis don't have a pair himself or anything like that, and maybe he took care of the fam. But only way you could get this was, like, pretty much you just had to team up with PlayStation and give away five winners. Yeah. I don't know how they selected the winners. But only five winners could have this shoe. That's crazy. That's wild. That is freaking wild, man. Um, let me get on the next one real quick. Says, uh, let's see. Chapo says, Project Blitz only got one pair. Got you. Got you. This one is the Travis Scott Nike SB Dunks Low Sample. I did not know this existed. It's kind of like a, like, 
elephant print type of style. I didn't know this shoe existed at all. Um, and you can tell it's definitely a dunk because you can see like um, on the back of that heel part up here towards the top, they have that on the actual like um, the regular Travis Scott dunks, the little paisley print joints. So I, that's where I know that from. But it says this one's unreleased. While Travis Scott and Nike SB Dunks low retail version was a fan favorite, Travis Scott flexed an unreleased version leading us to want more. The Travis Scott Nike SB Dunk low sample was a more muted approach with signature uses of earthy tones and Cactus Jack branding. So, yeah, very interesting. Travis Scott, Air Jordan 1 Low, Obsidian. Okay, that's, these are not called the Obsidians. That looks more like the Fragment Lows to me, but I can see why they want to do that. Uh, Kwame says, the regular release Travis SB's got to be my favorite. Yeah, I like those, definitely. Says the, it says, unreleased, but they did, they dropped those. Oh, oh wait, unless that's like a different... I know there is a no, no, that's the high tops I'm thinking of. Yeah, they did drop these joints. It says the Travis Scott knows all eyes are on him, so why wouldn't he flex an unreleased pair of all of us on all of us? The Travis Air Jordan One Low Obsidian, they got this one wrong right here, man. That is definitely I'm no genius, but that is definitely the um, that's definitely the Fragment Lows Travis Scott collab. But hey, who am I? Foreshadow the fragmented Travis Scott Air Jordan series with a darker blue tint. Oh, well, maybe it's not. Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong then. Interesting. Because it looks like that, but it, in my defense, this is not the best. This is not the best image. I'm going to see if I can. Hold on. I want to see if I can just Google this joint and some will come up. This is very interesting. Hold on. I want to put this joint in Google. Hold up. Let me put myself back on the main screen. I'm about to get up off this joint here in like a little bit. But now this has kind of sparked my interest. Obviously. Probably why I went live on it. So, I mean, that's pretty much. Okay. So, there. oh, okay. Now I see the difference. Okay. So, they look like the fragment joints. But they're not the fragment joints. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Give me like two seconds. Boom. And even still, this is like a blurry image, right? But it is an obsidian colorway. It's a different type of blue. It's got the inner blue lining differently. The Nike check is different. And then that's the actual looks like a navy colorway. So this is the picture they have up. So yeah, I was about to say, like, yeah, this is pretty much it. And to be honest, every picture that you see of the shoe is pretty much blurry. It's not my internet here, guys. It's literally... Every shoe you see is just blurry. So I'm pretty sure that's on purpose. You know what I mean? So interesting. So I thought it was these, but it's not the fragment joints. Yeah. That's 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 the fragment joints. These right here is what it's talking about. It's kind of like a like navy colorway on the toe box. Very interesting. Did not know that. Man, I'm learning a lot today, actually. Um Chapel says, JB is up to something. The end of the year, we're getting something crazy for show samples. Yeah, possibly. Um, I don't know about no samples because Nike just don't do that, but we may get something unexpected. All right, so we got the Travis Scott Air, Air Jordan 6 British Khaki. Um, I think it's a dope shoe. I just find it weird. Also, like the color blocking is like different and all over the place with it. Um, some people got the darker brown. Some people got the lighter brown. It just really depends. Something happened as far as like the quality control on that. Um, let's see. This uh, dropped April 30th, 2021. I remember that. It says, his airness in the Houston rapper collab of the Air Jordan 6 yet again has the Travis Scott Air Jordan 6 British khaki tapped a hairy suede upper carrying the torch from the previous hit. The outsole also glows in the dark. The tongue glows in the dark. The... um. The little lace loop joint glows in the dark. The heel tab glows in the dark. And, of course, the bottom glows in the dark. They should have did all that to the sixes, but at the same time, they probably didn't really, you know, they probably went back to the drawing board on this one. Now, this one is one that I feel like if they drop this, this would definitely break the Internet. I don't even want to know what this probably goes for. I'm not even going to put it in Google or anything. But, yeah, it says Fragment and Travis Scott 
Air Jordan 1 high. This is the sample pair. I always wondered why they did the lows like this, but they didn't do like the um they didn't do the highs, you know, but um this one's definitely got a they got a black Nike check on the joint too. These joints go hard. These are super fire. I like these. Um let's see. Uh Chapel says when I saw them in person, the brown was too dark. So I was going to cop them, but passed on them. Got you. Kwame says, I love my Travis sixes. They so different. Yep. But these fragment joints, boy, now the ball game says days before the fragment and Travis Scott and Air Jordan one, uh, pictured below released a sample version of three part collaboration surface, a more Royal tint, the use of a black toe color blocking in the fragment design signature lightning bolt, logo appears on the hill counter um it says it's not likely we'll ever see these pair make its way to retail but it would arguably supersede the release version yeah it definitely looks better this definitely looks better than the release version this is basically what they're saying this is this is what we should have got but they gave us this not bad but it's definitely plain jane i definitely would have liked to have my uh the toe blocking black because i think yeah, toe blocking black, and this part is black too. But I guess Trav was not onto that type of vibe. Or for whatever reason, right? Or whoever made the final call to say, like, nah, we're going to make it a, you know, we're not putting a black toe on it. Um, So this one right here, July 29th, 2021, says, you can tell it's a grill. You can call it OD. Either way, the fragment and Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low has you talking. The signature fragment blue and the reverse swoosh via the flame land on the air drawn one low with a particular color blocking exception okay so that's basically what this is so this one is super dope this is like my favorite favorite one uh out of the travis's man i can wear these joints probably like year round but i don't really want to jack them up that bad um but this one says the fragment travis scott and air drawn one low followed up it's highly predecessor, which I'm guessing like the shoe before them, um, and the similar elements in different execution, with a color blocking more similar to a black toe low. The frag and Travis Scott, which is basically fragment for short, Travis Scott and Air Jordan One Low, uh, coat of the space. So yeah, very interesting. Now there's another one that says fragment Travis Scott Air Jordan One Low, um, alternate. Very interesting. So. And my thing is this, if that's supposed to be an alternate, that ain't Travis walking. That's a, a different lady. I'm not, not saying she can't have it, but how'd she get that? And we got the, um, fragment design as hit the streets in a unreleased version of fragment Travis Scott and Jordan air Jordan one low. While details are still vague on the fragment Travis Scott air Jordan one low sample, the small glimpse painted enough of a picture. A white leather upper, fragment blue swooshes and heel tab and side midsole sum together on the pair. Let's see, unlikely to release anytime soon. It's a sample is another gem in the unreleased archives of a flame. He does have a lot of samples now that I think about it. And this is one right here is the Air Jordan 33 sample. I didn't even know they made a sample. It doesn't matter to me though. I didn't like the original. You don't have to give me the sample joints. You can keep both of them, Mr. Nike. Um, it says, unreleased, it's been years since Travis Scott and Air Jordan 33 made appearance. And in case you forgot, an alternate version surfaced to remind us. Let's see, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 33 sample appeared in a vast gray colorway, which signature cold branding uh, Moffitt's. Interesting. And now we got the Air Maxes. Now, I will say this. These two colorways, I don't think actually... Release. I'm not saying they don't exist. I just know they haven't released. Um, and I know this week colorway was exclusive to his website. So it's always kind of good to kind of try to cop off his website. Wow. And I'm guessing this is a different colorway too, man. How many pairs do is out there? Um, this one's from May 23, 2022. And then again in 27. Oh, that was for the week colorway. Oh, so the cave stone, that is a colorway, but it, don't, it didn't never had a release date. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. Roller skating sag actor says they might be bricks to you, but they're 
their dollar bills for me. Y'all trapped out. Um, I'm talk. You're talking about the forces in general. Um, just because of the hype, you know. But I agree with you. If you like it, you like it. You know, at the end of the day, when it comes to that shoe. So this one says, the Travis Scott and Nike Air Max One collection was meant to be one of the most talked about releases of the year as the Flame and the Swoosh were uh, poised on a five-part collection for the holiday. A tragic unfolded on the rapper signature Astroworld Festival delayed the um, collection and definitely and finally made its way in May 2022. However, two of the rumored colorways are still unreleased. Which, yeah, I only know about that three. Now, here's the trainer. I think Kwame has one of these as well, one pair. Um, like I said, this is not a bad shoe, but this is one of those where not everything that, you know, they do together is a hit, you know? So, I don't know why Travis wanted to do that one, or maybe it was part of the contract. He had to do some other, like, random off colorways or something like that. So, it says... The Nike Air Trainer 1 was destined to be the next canvas for Cactus Jack as the legendary silhouette was celebrating its 35th anniversary in style. How else to celebrate the milestone than with one of the hottest collaborations in the game? Much like the Travis Scott Air Force 1 Air Max series, the Travis Scott um, Air Max 1 Trainer Gray and Travis Scott Air Force 1 Trainer Wheat were delayed to the summer following the tragedy at Astro World. Very interesting. Then we got the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Reverse Mochas. I have those. Arguably one of my favorite shoes in my collection. I could probably say that about almost any shoe. Um, let's see. Chapo says, Cut the check is basically a trainer with a jump man. Uh, they're trash. I'm not impressed with them. I'll say that. I'll say I'm not impressed. I'm going to be on this joint for like another like roughly five minutes because I think I'm almost done up on this joint. Colin, Travis Scott, and Jordan collab. Uh, highly anticipated feels a um, and not knock off the Jumpman nor the Flame. They've been delivering hit after hit. The Travis Scott and Air Jordan 1 Low Reverse Mocha has been prized jewel for many since it leaked and has been teased for months and months with without end. The wait is almost over, and a reverse mocha will look to add the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 series. So they definitely added this. I'm very curious when this article went down. Now, this is a Travis Scott Dior. Um, I don't even think... This is my first... I think I may have seen this stuff, but I don't think Sneakerheads even paid this stuff any attention, man. I'm very curious that they have a price on this joint. But yeah, he worked with Kim Jones. Um, apparently, he's pretty good, so very unique. So maybe they pop off. Um, maybe more so overseas than they do actually in the stores. But again, who knows? Some people don't waste their time buying Jordan and they come just buy this and don't realize it's low key, but they're still kind of getting that type of quality. Maybe slightly better, but you know, who knows? Says Travis Scott is taking his collab energy to the high fashion world with the help of Christian Dior and the legendary Mr. Kim Jones, the Travis Scott uh, Dior B713 collection will be refreshing uh refreshing offering a range of earth tones paired with neutral pastels and even a vibrant fluorescent green will be the palette chosen for the collection influenced by the 90s skating shoes the Travis Scott and CD cover could also be a part of the new wave for the artists and luxury brands alike it's lit quote unquote that's what he put up that's what they put up on his joint and this is the one i was talking about that dunks hit on well i hit on for him was the phantoms um let me hit a chat real quick it says dior ended their deal with travis over the tragedy wow that sucks i know he i know some stuff had kind of like slipped through the gate for him um kwame says sheesh dior karab is serious yeah because they definitely not playing Of course, these Phantoms, these joints drop. I want to say they was in December of 2022. So we've been heading long, got those. And then you got the, yeah, this is somewhat new because this is the Travis Scott Women's Olive. Very interesting. Uh, 
not necessarily for me, but not necessarily super impressed either. But um, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. It's definitely dope. Um, let's see. Travis Scott and Nike Air Force One Utopia. Okay, so this site is somewhat up to date. Very interesting. So this is another shoe. This is going on in the history of like the Travis Scotts. Oh, and the golf. How could I not forget the golf? People have been going crazy for the golf. My thing is this. It looks like where you can still wear this outside of like being inside of like an actual golf course. You know what I mean? Just what it looks like to me. It says Travis Scott and Nike Mike, Mac Attack. I think Dunk said he was feeling those as well. Um, and then this is the cut to check that you were talking about, Chapo. This is the cut to check that you've seen floating around. It says them Johnson's is trash to me. I feel you. Everybody got their own preference at the end of the day. And pretty much that looks like that covers that article. So pretty much, man, we're pretty much at the hour and like 40 minute mark anyway. Um, I am going to go ahead and start wrapping things up tonight, man. Uh, another a great sold out collab. Uh, definitely another great sold out live, of course, man. So appreciate everybody for coming through, showing love. Y'all smash the like button, sub up to the channel. If you haven't done so already, man, um, I just want to leave y'all with this too as well. At the end of the day, buy what you like, man. If you like the shoe, you like the shoe. That's what makes the community a little bit different. There are going to be some times where you like a shoe that like all the rest of us like too. So now you got a little bit more competition. But at the end of the day, as long as you're happy and you're buying what you like, man, you know, don't even trip over. So really, you know, it's just an opinion. If the person say they're not feeling them, but the person next to them saying they're feeling them, that's just how the game goes sometimes. And it's okay. And we can agree to disagree. But um, other than that, wrapping things up for tonight. Appreciate everybody for coming through and showing love, man. Smash the like button, man. Really goes a long way. Sub up to the channel if you haven't done so already. Of course, y'all know my name is Jeremy Jones, and I make content about sneakers, occasional trial hauls, and of course, you know I will be back on Monday with another Music Monday, man. So smash the like button, sub up, and I will be back on Monday. And uh, this is pretty much cause of the day for Sold Out, man. I'm officially out this thing, man. Peace.
right now. Hope I don't crash all the mouth. If you see me out of town, hope I'm all in now. Lost my mind to this cup, it's in purple now. For the store, they run out of spread a wow. I don't feel good when I'm high, I can't touch the sky. If I die, let a night know that I was high. Cry so many nights, but said I was fine. For my demons, I can fight them all, I'm on a high. I can play this song back, I'ma cry a while. December, who brought my heart can remember? Tell me to leave her alone. Got enough I can remember. Got enough I can remember. My heart is cold. December, who brought my heart can remember? Tell me to leave her alone. Got enough I can remember. Got enough I can remember. I can play this song back, I'ma cry away. 